Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa salatu wassalamu asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. La haula wala quwwata illa billah. Dear brothers and sisters, fellow students, let me first of all wish you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and welcome you to this university as a member of the IIUM larger community. We are indeed thankful to Allah Subhanahu taala for giving us this opportunity to meet online and to welcome you personally on the basis of your achievement to be admitted to this university. This university, the International Islamic University, is one of its kind in this country and in fact around the world. We have got a vision and a mission that is quite different from other universities around the world. For example, we are all ready and fixed into what we call the rahmatan lil alamin or mercy to all. That is one of the values that this university wanted to promote and therefore we welcome you to this gathering of humanity that will provide their vision and mission that we will fulfill inshallah over a period of time. Let me first of all also to congratulate you for making your choice into this university and stepping your foot into this university as a member of this university's community and also holding the same amana the same trust and the same responsibility that all of us share in this university on that note i would like to remind you that this university has got its own mission and vision to fulfill and you as a member of this university must understand very deeply of what this vision and mission of this university to start off with as i've mentioned earlier we are about humanity we are about creating a society for everybody to be joyful to be happy and also to be responsible over the life of not only their own but also people around us and we are also uh, duty bound to make sure that all this works because we are supposed to be the best of all ummah around the world so on that note i would like to draw you your attention very quickly to the state we are in now we are i'm sure you know in the state of pandemic and therefore there are many things that you need to understand of how to behave in this particular very peculiar situation one of the things that we are very keen to make sure that all our students are well protected in terms of their health be it physical or even mental health and more so in the context of mental health because most of us are not prepared to deal with the situation of mental health and therefore i would like to call on every student to be mindful of your stature of your well-being so that you can live in this university as a student that has got a mission to co- to to convey and also to arrive at and that mission require full alertness physically and mentally and how do you prepare yourself to be mentally and physically alert is something that i hope the taruf week will tell you in the greater details of how to behave and how to mix around and to stay well and to stay healthy until and unless we arrive at this we will not be able to achieve the target that we are trying to make we are not be able to achieve to create a community that takes care of one another and also the community around us so i want you to be to, to be mindful first of all that you must look after yourself you must convince your family your parents in particular that you are well taken care in this university and inshallah we will provide you the best that we could so that you will remain as healthy as possible as joyful and happy as possible so that you can be a student of better construct and making your uh, existing in this university existence in university a better one a second thing that we want to you to remember is all of us must be vaccinated in this university in the context of trying to protect others vaccination is one of the ways of protecting others apart from yourself and the university have made much arrangement to make sure that everybody in the university the staff and the student are accessible to vaccination vaccination although it's not a perfect solution but as a solution now that has been proven to protect us against a more severe infection of the corona 19 yet you want you find that there are people who are not 
very much attuned to this because they listen to many other situation of uh, rumor mongering or fake news that they are not sure about. This university is very committed to vaccination because we believe in the science of vaccination. We have evidences to show that vaccination thus far does work, although there are downside to it, but the, down the downside is minimal as far as we are concerned. If you are not sure of what the status of this vaccination is concerned, I would invite you to talk to our scientists, to our specialists, to our medical doctors, and find out what is the truth about vaccination rather than listen to rumors or fake news about vaccination and then exposing yourself to the, the virus and exposing others at the same time. The university, if it wants to function, must remain green, must remain protected, and must remain healthy. And therefore, we want to eliminate as much as possible the, pos the potential or the possibility of the university being infected and causing a lot more problems in trying to carry out the mission of educating people in this university. And therefore, I call upon you to be mindful of this and to be very serious about this and to discuss about issues that you are not sure rather than listening to rumors and joining groups that are having different agendas in trying to promote, in not trying to promote health among students and also the community. The university, for example, for the last three months has been running a, a PPV, uh, a vaccination centre at our hospital, and we have uh, provided vaccination to all who wants uh, the vaccination almost free of charge. And for, for the next two or three months, this will go on. And I hope you will take this opportunity also to make sure you are vaccinated if you have not had one. And in this, in, in this campus, Guru Gomba campus, we also have organized uh, a vaccination for our staff and our students for the last uh, one month. And the second dose was just delivered uh, yesterday, I think. So all this shows that the university is convinced that the science of vaccination is important for us to understand. And therefore, I will call on you as students of this university to talk about the science rather than the politics of it. There are many political issues that is involved with a vaccine, but it has nothing to do with the science of vaccine. And that is something that you want to differentiate and to make sure that you are not taught the wrong thing or being persuaded to do the wrong things as far as vaccination is concerned. So these are responsibilities, the two responsibilities that I think is important for you to understand. And I hope that Ta'aruf Week will give you more insights and more confidence over what you are supposed to go through. And if you are not sure, you need to ask. You need to be convinced of why things need to be done in a certain way because the university is important to us. The health of everybody is important to us. And the existence of this university as a champion of new knowledge as a champion of objective knowledge, as a champion of integrated knowledge, is also very important to us. So on that note, I would like to welcome you again, especially for those of you who have uh, applied directly to the Gomba campus. I think you will join more than 3,000 students that will be part of the first year in the first semester. And I hope you will also mingle around. Given the situation we are in, given the concern that we are in, that will not prohibit us from mixing around in the way that is safe, in the way that is uh, uh, what we call uh, cordial, so that we also do not miss the human contact. I understand uh, this human contact is important for our, for our uh, health, uh, health, for our well-being mentally and physically, and therefore try to be in touch with your fellow students, with your family and anybody around you in the manner that is permissible as far as the SOP or the standard operating procedure is concerned. We need to make this a success as a group and I think we are able to do that for the last uh, a year and a half. Uh, we have been doing that quite well, although there are ups and downs, but the moment we stick together, we understand what the mission is all about and we understand how to properly behave to look after yourself in terms of cleanliness, in terms of protection, and in terms of behaviour, I think we will be on our way to make this university an excellent one. So let me once again welcome you, congratulate you, and also convince you and your family 
that you are in good hands, we will take care of you while you are here, and I hope you will respond accordingly. So, on this day, uh, which is a Friday, we will uh, supplicate and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will give all the blessings and all the courage to make the difference as far as moving this university ahead with your help as a member or the new member of the family of IIUM. So, wa bilahi taufiq wa hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.